It's been 10 years since Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force, James Cody, visited Beale Air Force Base. Back then, he was a functional manager for air traffic control conducting inspections. Now, as the top enlisted official, he's able to see things from a different perspective. From March 7th to the 9th, Chief Cody was able to get a comprehensive look at the base by speaking with airmen across all fields. What did you get most from this visit and how was the experience overall? So I think I get the most from all of the base visits. That's the interaction with our airmen. You know, they're certainly very capable. They're proud of what they're doing. They're working really hard. You're working really hard here at Bill. I mean, they're making a difference globally every single day. Though implementation is on the horizon, the Air Force's announcement in December to have enlisted RPA pilots was a constant topic discussed between Chief Cody and Beale Airmen during his visit, a topic very relevant to the RQ-4 Global Hawk and ISR community. When you look at the remotely piloted aircraft community, it's, it's really stressed. Out of that complete community with all the different weapon systems, the RQ-4 is the most stable out of all of them. So when you look at the size of the Air Force, we clearly know that our enlisted uh, force can perform this, they can do the job if they're trained appropriately, meet the requirements and qualifications. This is a priority mission for us, so it's a stable environment. It makes sense to look at this as a way forward to increase capacity for the Air Force, so that's exactly what we're doing right now. Reporting from Beale Air Force Base, California, I'm Airman First Class, Benjamin Bugenig. Really? You having fun? Hi. Good, me too. <laughs>